Mr. Assessment here. Let's look at some triangles. Now the first thing I want to talk about is this word classifying. Classifying means to group or to sort, to put in things that are similar, so that's what we're going to do. First tip I want to give you is that these little lines really mean something. This line means that this side is the same length as this side is the same length as that side. Those are all equal. Notice that in this triangle we have a line here and a line there. That means those two sides are equal. And you can use that to determine or classify what type of triangle it is. The second thing is that the orientation or the rotation does not change if it's a triangle. What I mean by that is if it's tilted or slanted. Now these two right here are both equilateral triangles. We have an equilateral triangle here and one here. But an equilateral triangle is, is an equilateral triangle because all the sides are the same not because it's tilted or slanted or rotated. So you can ignore that when you see triangles or any figures for that shape, for that matter. All right. As we classify, we can classify based off of two things, off of the sides or off of the angles. Now here's a triangle right here. Do you know what kind this is? Well, I do see that this little box right here is something. Do you remember what that box means? means a 90 degree or right angle. And so this is a right triangle is one kind, but the sides also, well, if this side equals that side, that's going to matter later. So that could tell us what kind of triangle it is off of the sides. Let's look at a very special type of triangle right here. Do you remember what this one's called? Let's say that all three sides are the same length. So we have an equilateral triangle here. That also means that each of the angles are going to be equal as well. And I can make a little mark for that. So that's an equilateral triangle. Let's classify some triangles based on their sides. So if all the, of the sides are the same, what kind of triangle would that be? If all are the same, do you remember? Well, that's going to be an equilateral. Equilateral. Give me a second to write that out so you can see it. Now, what if uh, two of the sides are the same? We have two are the same. Do you know what that kind is called? Two of the sides are the same length. That is a special one called isosceles. Here's how I remember it. I picture uh, my hands out and each hand is a leaf and I say, I saw some leaves falling and I put my hands back and forth like they're leaves falling. It's silly but it kind of sounds like isosceles, I saw some leaves falling, and I have two leaves falling. So if that helps, you could use that. And what if they're all the different? None are the same. None are the same. What's that type of triangle called? That is called a scalene triangle. Awesome. So I've got a few triangles over here. Let's grab them and bring them in. And we're going to, uh, we're going to figure out what kind these are. Let's do a little bit of matching right here. So is there an equilateral triangle here where all of them are the same length, all the angles look the same, are any of those, do any of those match up? Well this one matches up right there, look at that. But how about an isosceles where two of the sides are the same? Remember you can use those little lines to determine that. Here we are. And does this one have three different lengths of the sides? Yeah. That's going to be a scalene. So you can use that to remember it as well. That's taking a look at the sides. Now let's take a look at the angles. We can measure off of the angles. So again, if they're all the same, what is that called? Well, that is called an equilateral if they're all the same. And let me move this over so we can keep the same format. And so all the same. And there's another kind that's called if the all of the angles, all angles are less than 90 degrees. They're tiny, cute little angles. Oh, that one's called acute. That's how I remember that one. Look at those tiny, cute little angles. That's if all the angles are less than 90 degrees. And then you have your really large word 
in this big sounding one. What if one angle is greater than 90 degrees? What's that one called? Obtuse. Obtuse. And lastly, what if one angle, one angle, and this little symbol means angle, what if one angle is 90 degrees? Well, what do you call that that box angle on a square? What do you call that? It's called a right angle. So if a triangle has that in it, it's a right triangle. Well, let's grab these here and pull them over and so we can match up these four and see what they are. I'll bring them over and we'll do some matching. Okay, can you find an equilateral triangle? Well, made it easy for you. There it is right there. How about an acute triangle? That means all of the angles, all three angles, are less than 90 degrees. They're going to be really small and less than a straight edge or less than this, um, this box corner of a right angle. Do you see any of those? They're tiny, cute little angles. Yes, this angle is less than 90, this angle is less than 90, and this angle is less than 90. That's acute. Obtuse means we're looking for one large angle. It's above 90 degrees. It's open. It's If this is 90 right here, it's open and even farther out than that. So, do you see an obtuse triangle? Right here. This angle is a little bit bigger than a right angle. A right angle would come right about here and this one's open a little bit farther that's an obtuse and this is going to be our right triangle we can see it because that little box right there it's 90 degrees i'll change colors on that so we can see it a little bit better but this is going to be a right triangle perfect all right so how are we doing did you get this we've got an equilateral triangle we've got sides that we can measure off of we just looked at the angles that we can measure off of, and that gives us our different kinds of triangles. Good work, everybody.